And how is this your first carrion? Well, it could be that this is my first bardic madness on a day when I am not at a bardic madness. Oh! Because there are two today. <laughs> Which is a good problem to have. We bards are nothing if not sneaky. <laughs> we know how to get around rules. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Also, this, I think, is the first time this piece has ever been performed. A couple of years ago, a friend of mine named Nighthawk was running a heraldic concert consultation table for a barony that had had a large influx of college kids very recently. They didn't know a whole lot about the SCA yet, but they knew they needed a new name. So all day long, they would come up to him and say, hi, I need a name. And that was all they came to work with. <laughs> okay, you know, points for, points for play. There was one advanced student, however, who said, hi, I want a Scottish name. So he went through the usual list of Scottish names, and he's telling us about this post-rebel later that evening. And I said, well, those, those names are fine Scottish names, but you could give them a really powerful Scottish name. A name like, I don't know, Chutzpah. My <laughs> old Scottish name. In fact, you could have the name Chutzpah McTavish. Yeah, that really, they'll remember that, won't they? Yeah. The problem was, after I'd said it, the damned name wouldn't leave my head. <laughs> and so. Excellent. So keep your Wallace, keep your Bruce. Such names do not enthrall, like Chutzpah McTavish, the greatest Scot of all. He stirred a cauldron on the moor to burn and boil and bubble. That witch's brew of fenny snake caused quite a lot of trouble. One night in Cawdor's castle, King Duncan came to dine. McTavish in the pantry there did pour the porter's wine. That porter liked his wine. So keep your Wallace, keep your Bruce, such names do not enthrall. Like Chutzpah McTavish, the greatest Scot of all. He spirited the stone a scone, a way to parts unknown. A heavy seat for sitting, and a most uncomfy throne. Though many monarchs used it for a chair when they were crowned. McTavish pinched the real one. It's never since been found. No, the stone has not been found. So keep your Wallace, keep your Bruce. Such names do not enthrall. Like Chutzpah McTavish, the greatest Scot of all. The bagpipes play a lovely song, say lilting and say sweet. Discovered by McTavish and his drunken clumsy feet. He left the pub to journey home while he was half asleep. He stumbled, staggered, tripped and fell, and landed on a sheep. An upset, bleating sheep. So keep your Wallace, keep your Bruce, such names do not enthrall. Like Chutzpah McTavish, the greatest Scot of all. King Kenneth was the first to rule most realm of all the Scots. His history depends upon which sources you have got. For fact and fiction will entwine to blur the fates of men. And truth and lies get murky when McTavish wields the pen, that drunken tricksy pen. So keep your Wallace, keep your Bruce, such names do not enthrall, like Chutzpah McTavish, the greatest Scot of all. McTavish has made mischief from the Arkneys to the Tweed. A cascade of calamities in thought and word and deed. No matter what the century, when Scottish things go wrong, you know exactly who to blame, the hero of the song. This song's so very long. <laughs> so keep your Wallace, keep your Bruce, such names do not enthrall. Like Chutzpah McTavish, the greatest Scot of all. Yes, Chutzpah McTavish, the greatest Scot of all.